Hey guys, Fusion Science here, and today I'll be showing you how to make a Christmas light, seeing as it's coming up to Christmas now. You can use it on backgrounds or speed arts or whatever you'd like, but uh, the purpose is irrelevant. But today I'll be showing you how to do this. Now it's going to be a rather long tutorial, I'll try and make it as fast as possible, but I want it to, to look right at the end, so I'm going to make sure I take it nice and easy and make sure it turns out good. So um, yeah, let's get started. So just click file and new and have it whatever size you'd like select your pen tool and just make it kind of round at the end hold alt and click then come out a bit at an angle and across and back and right click and make selection just click OK make a new layer select your gradient tool have a kind of a grayish green kind of a pale grayish green and a dark green and just click here and pull off to the side go to the about halfway and uh, you'll get a nice faded green to make it look a bit 3d we'll work on that a bit better later but uh just click select and deselect now go back down to your pen tool, make a new layer and just click at both ends, pull out to make it look 3D again. Hold alt and click the square, bring it out a bit then uh, put another curve on it hold alt and click the square again and then join them up then right click and make selection and OK now what we're going to do is fill it in with all dark green and then go to the paint brush and put on a fuzzy uh, brush and make sure you select the white the bright greyish green and just click here and that will just give it a nice uh, just nice look and then just select and deselect so I'm just gonna move that in to the right place let's make sure it's kind of centered up you can use the arrow keys on your uh, keyboard if you would like just want it to look okay okay that looks okay so now we're just going to make these look a bit better so just go down here to FX on the first layer you made stroke it and set it to inside and put the stroke on about 2 then if you want you can add a pattern overlay this makes it look a bit nicer but it's not necessary so I'm just going to use this one here put it on overlay and turn down the opacity to about 35 then uh, go to inner shadow here uh, take off the distance, put up the choke and put up the size. doesn't need to be set to anything specific but uh, just look at the image when you think it looks nice then stop there. Um, okay so we have that done so click OK. Now move up to the second layer you've created and repeat the stroke. So have it on inside and put it to 2. Uh, <clears throat> add another pattern if you'd like again it's optional so I'm just going to use this one set it to overlay and tone down the opacity and then I'm going to go up and put on an inner shadow like the last one um, that looks nice then put a drop shadow drop shadow and uh, have it going back onto the last one and uh, this just makes it look uh, kind of 3D's if it's coming out of it so that looks good let's click uh, sorry I'm just adjusting that Yes, that looks okay. So just click OK. Um, now, 
what you want to do is start on the bulb but first duplicate the second layer hold control and T rotate it around and pull it back um, just make sure kind of in the exact middle click enter now pull it down behind your second layer so now you can see what it's done actually that's not rotated fully control and T again until it's fully rotated okay and just get the rub the eraser tool and just rub out the sides that are going over the thing so that looks good now so you have the basic back of the uh, light bulb but now we're going to do the light bulb itself so uh, let's get started um, get your pen tool again uh, make a new layer and it's kind of hard to get this look perfect but just do your best just click there not sure if that looks okay we'll just fill it in and check I'm gonna do a red bulb uh, this might not turn out nice so I might redo it but I'll just check it's kind of hard to tell before you actually add the color so um, I was gonna write make selection and click OK then I'm gonna go to the gradient tool and just click and pull does that look good um, yeah, it looks like a good bulb. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, you can make the bulb any shape you'd like. You can change it for your own one, but I'm going to use this here. And uh, <clears throat> add some effects here. So put on stroke. You can put on a... Uh, there's two colors you could use. You could use a pink or a dark red. I'm going to pick a dark red. Uh, set it to five. And... Uh, then put on um, put it on inner glow put up the size and stuff like that um, just fill with this a bit until it looks good uh, you can turn down the opacity and then you can put on a uh, outer glow put up the spread and put up the outer glow uh, change the outer glow color to like a pinkish red uh, make sure it doesn't come out here at the back of the image you make it the right size so it doesn't do that um, click OK so now you've the basic outline done but we're going to add a bit more detail to the bulb itself so get the pen tool again, make a new layer, and just do what I do here. Hold Alt click and then uh, whoops, getting a bit laggy here. Uh, Alt and join it back then right click make selection okay then fill it in with a white so just put on the gradient and drag uh, drag out then select and deselect now click just above that there This isn't necessary, you don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing here. You can put your own spin on it, but uh, I'm showing you how to put kind of a shine effect on it. So right click and make selection and click OK. Now repeat it, put it in white. 
and select deselect and then just uh, huh. then just put it on there's two ways you can do it. you can put it on overlay which doesn't really have much of a great effect or you could just lower the opacity to like uh, to about 15 to 20 your choice so I'm just gonna put mine on about 16 that that, that looks good um, you can put the fill down a bit if you want and now one last thing make a new layer use your paintbrush uh, put it on about 300 on a fuzzy brush uh, make sure you still have white selected and just click and then put it on overlay or say no same thing again lower the opacity to about 50 and uh, fill if you want then you can just move that up a bit if you want see so yeah, that looks okay so um, that's the bulb it's basic outline but we'll show you uh, how to put in a background with like wires and stuff just for those of you who want to know that if you're gonna stop watching the video now uh, please like the video and subscribe that'd be really appreciated but I'm just gonna continue now and show people who need a nice background how to make such a background Whoops. Um, <clears throat> so let's put a grey foreground and a dark black background go to your gradient tool and select the radial pattern uh, go to the back round layer and just click to the middle and drag out and now you can see the full extent of how nice the bulb actually looks but uh, I'm just gonna set a pattern on this uh, pattern overlay uh, again this isn't necessary but it does look nice um, I'm gonna use a Christmas pattern put it on overlay sorry about that uh, my computer just cut out I think but uh, yeah so um, put on a pattern and put on overlay and then uh, I think that's it we could have an inner shadow but I don't think it's necessary uh, let's click OK then so we'll continue on with the bulb I'll show you how to put a wire in the background um, so let's go to the pen tool again uh, just click and have it kind of twist in then alt uh, have it come out again and just do kind of the outline of a wire right click stroke path and it is set to brush so make sure your brush as a like on your brush make sure you have the wire width and have it on hardened so I'm gonna pick 19 as my wire uh, right click stroke path and OK um, I accidentally uh, you're meant to make a new layer uh, set the color to a uh, green as well say I'm kind of tuned out after my computer like shut off of me like that uh, okay so right click and stroke path and OK and now select uh, sorry, right click and delete path so now you've kind of the outline of a wire uh, go to FX stroke it stroke it by about two uh, put a pattern over it if you want uh, I just got into using patterns lately and I find them really helpful so I'm just gonna put on a pattern have it on overlay uh, then I'm just gonna go to uh, bevelin and boss up the soften and size till it looks kind of nice so we'll have that on a four then 
inner shadow have that on 0 have this on 10 and have this on 10 and drop shadow and click OK so there we've just made a bulb now you can duplicate the bulb and have long wires have it go on for a while um, I think this turned out quite nice I just want to make a tutorial on it I'm kinda in the Christmas spirit right now um, but I haven't been uploading lately uh, there's two reasons why I just want to get this out there for those of you who have continued watching this tutorial um, first of all my last three uploads only got 200 views and before that I was getting 1500 views per video on average and now it just dropped to 200 views in my last four videos I think it is and uh, this is kind of troubling me um, it's not I don't think it's you guys who aren't watching my videos I think it's YouTube who aren't showing them in the home page um, but this is kind of getting a bit scary because my channel just isn't going to work out if I'm getting this little views on my video so uh, yeah a like and a subscribe would go a long way um, second reason I'm not uploading is because it's Christmas time yeah but uh, yeah I just wanted to make this tutorial because I, I felt like making a bulb just a Christmas light bulb just seeing if I was up for the challenge and I managed to do it quite nice kind of cartoony bulb but uh, yeah uh, thanks for watching see ya